Hello everyone and welcome to a very odd Specimen Saturday. So we are at the park and I am getting ready to go. I'm actually right next to the parking lot and I turned around and I saw this tree and I was like, oh look at these interesting like interesting little leaf shapes on this tree. And then I looked a little bit closer, if I can zoom in, there we go. I was like, look at that, that's like a latest, lattice sort of looking leaf shape. And I looked a closer and I realized that's because there's these beetles. And I think these are actually an invasive species of beetle that Darling has told me about. But look at them, they're everywhere. So this is a good example of a species completely taking over and killing off this poor tree. I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so covered in beetles. It's really hard to see, but they're pretty much absolutely all over this thing. And they're busy, busy mating, as you can see from these two right here. They're busy mating, so they're making more beetles. But they've completely destroyed this tree. I don't know if this little one's going to make it. I mean, look, they're hanging. Like, how many are on this leaf? Oh, oh, he's got his little pincers raised. He's like, back off, back off. But yeah, there's two, four, six, ten, twelve, possibly like fourteen on that leaf. Sorry, the wind's blowing. Yee! But yeah, I just can't believe it. So this is definitely... You can see down here the tree hasn't quite had as much damage, but these guys are doing a huge number on it, and I don't think this little tree is going to be able to make it, because it's not just like there's one little beetle like this eating its leaves. The whole tree is coated in these guys, starting from kind of the outer edges here. Look at it, you can see straight through it. The thing is, the way the trees get their nutrients, and you can actually see where these guys are starting, like these leaves are clearly dying off, but the way a tree gets its nutrients is by having nice broad leaves with lots of chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll lives inside of the cells inside of these leaves. The sun hits these green chlorophyll factories, that's why the tree, or the tree is green, or the leaves are green, I should say, but the sun hits these chlorophyll factories and creates uh, the energy the tree needs. But these beetles, whoo, there's so many they're like falling off as I'm looking closer, but these beetles, which I think are definitely an invasive species that I've been told about, and people hang up special bags to try to catch and get rid of. I mean, when they told me like how aggressive people fight these beetles, I thought it was an understatement. Like, oh, come on, they can't be like too terrible, but look at this, this poor tree. And there's not much we can do, because I mean, I think it's kind of doomed unless someone put up one of the beetle traps. But I will try to learn more about these beetles and show them to you guys in the future. Because it is definitely, definitely a sad sight for this poor little thing. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. So, so many, so many. Hey, you guys. Hey, guys, stop. Ah! <laughs> now they're going to fall on me. I don't want to be rude to the beetles because they're just doing what they have to survive. But this is kind of a good example of the damage an invasive species can do. So when you hear every now and then those boring reports on the news, like, oh, such and such an invasive beetle species is destroying the trees, or thousand cankers, which is a type of disease that came, a tree disease that came over from China, is destroying the trees, it may not sound like a lot, like, it may just sound kind of boring, and like, well, that should be easy to take care of, but, I mean, if we were tasked with protecting this tree, what would you do at this point? Oh my gosh, I can hear him eating. I can hear you guys eating! That's so weird! I can hear their little pincers as they're starting to just like chew and eat the leaves. So, oh my goodness. And you can see they're paired up, so they're definitely making beetle babies right now. And they're really interesting. They've got the kind of shiny green head, a brown, brown, rusty brown thorax. They've got Oh my gosh, I hear them everywhere. Yeah, they're flying all over this place. I wonder if there's a species of bird or something that'll eat these guys, or if they have some sort of natural toxicity to prevent them from being eaten by a lot of bugs, but or by a lot of birds. But yeah, look at that. So there we go, you guys. That's a very unique, unique take. I've never seen something like this before, and I honestly hope I don't see many, many more things like this in the future, because this is so sad. Oh, they're getting on me. Okay, I'm going to start moving. I don't think they're going to hurt me, but they're just all over the place eating this poor tree. So, yeah, just remember, invasive species, not good. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.